Hey everybody, Label Gamer here with uh, my co-host here, Avalis, aka T. So today we're going to be reviewing the M99 Saber. I only have it as a Mark II. I believe my co-host here has it a Mark I. So uh, it's going to be very similar to our M96 Matic uh, rifle that we have reviewed previously. Uh, except the first thing we can notice right off the bat is the damage output is inc like nearly triple what the Matic is. Uh, and that's with it just being a Mark II. I can't imagine it as a Mark X. So, the fire rate's much slower, though, and the capacity is a little less, and the weight is way, uh, way heavier. So, some kind of kind of different balances there. We'll kind of check it out. We're going to give it a good playthrough and see what happens with it. So, kind of see how it plays out. While I'm waiting on him to join, I'm going to actually get myself a jumbo equipment pack here, so... I apologize. I actually had to adjust the phone. I need to be able to hear my next message cue. That's okay. I'm expecting a phone call from a good friend here in a little bit, anyways. So, if I go radio silent for a little bit, that's probably why. I probably muted myself for that. So. All right, then I get to have the show, and let me tell you, it's going to be a different one, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be handled a little different. So. All right, you got your thing set up there. Nice, gonna do a right assault rifle amp. What level is your? Um, what mark level is your? It is, it is one, just like you said. No, I know. I see the weapon is, but I was gonna ask about your uh, stabilizer. What mark level is it? Oh, my stabilizer is pretty low too. I'm pretty sure. Let's go back here. Oh, I lied. It is. It is level five. You got a stability damper Mark V. Nice. So that that's that's seventy percent. So this is I'm not going to have near the kickback. Yeah, I've got mine set on too because I've used this weapon before and I know the kickback. It makes it much more definitely want to focus on a marksmanship uh, without it. So all right, we got a new player here. We're gonna play with some uh, some randoms. So the. Gross Cannon is ready to go, and so is this one. He's not going to do any equipment. That's interesting. So, But I'm ready whenever you all are, so we'll do what we can. Am I really level 246? Damn. Or N7 level. So. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's rock and roll it. So, first notice right off the bat, you only get about 50 rounds, and the ammo clip is definitely very small. Now, what are you at on the ammo clip? I did get the additional rounds for my ammo clip. Uh, mine's at 8. Base is 8. Mine is at 11. Okay, so it gives you a, a couple of extra rounds. Yeah, I noticed that when you zoom rounds. in from cover, the accuracy is spot on. Yep, yep, I can tell. Oh, all right. And it hits like a truck. It does hit quite like a truck. Uh, one shot's the weaker one. Yeah, if you can pull off headshots, it'll one shot all of them. All like the lower two tiers. Oh, this is beautiful. If you want a headshot gun, there is no other gun to use. It's like a sniper rifle would be better. Yep, sniper rifle with a fire, higher fire rate and just the same accuracy without the zoom. Exactly. But definitely make sure to stop by and pick up some ammo regularly. Cause see, go ahead. Total, I don't have that uh, same issue. Well, as a as a juggernaut, you probably have the the spare weapon or spare ammo capability on, on your abilities. He's down. Definitely an excellent marksman rifle. I like this. Definitely does a lot of damage to the 
Husks, you know, the filler enemies. The husks, it just dominates. And I'll be honest, I, I, I'm getting Marauders and two shots, uh, even with the shields, if I get pop the headshots. To be fair, you, you have that assault rifle amp 3 on, so that kind of really amps up the damage output it has, too. For sure, but this is a tier 1, and I have no damage uh, added to it to be a gun mod. Yeah, but that Mark III does do a little bit, because with Marauders, I can do them. When I hit them with the uh, uh, Overload, it'll take about two or three shots myself. That's after I've hit them with the Overload. So. And mine's a Mark II. Yeah, about two shots after using Overload. Oh, there was a one-shotter. I'll be honest, I kind of like the sound that happens when you fire. We should probably go help our friendly with the escort mission. He's not even paying a lick of attention to it. Don't worry, we're coming. I mean, I am, but... Yeah, if you're pulling off headshots, it's pretty, uh, pretty powerful against some marauders. Now they're getting them up close and personal. Boop. Love bouncing around like a jetpacking fool. So the rate of fire isn't all that great, but the pack of the punch it packs with it is not too bad at all. I don't know about you, but my rate of fire is okay. Well, I mean, it's it's not necessarily bad. It's not quite the same as the Matic, but it also has a lot more power behind it. No, but so don't mind me. I'm just gonna float around like a fairy. Look at my wings. That's just what you do naturally. It's, it's okay, buddy. I know. It just it just comes so easily to me, you know. Yeah, but a lot of things do. Woo! This thing with Mer Mark mixed with this guy's uh, stealth ability is it pimps, dude. It wrecks. I'll be honest, this has now become one of my favorite rifles. And for anybody who will soon eventually realize T's playstyle, that's saying something for a single shot weapon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, I'm all right with like shotguns, but I'll be honest, I definitely prefer my, you know, heavy hitting like machine guns, like the death class rifle. You wreck face with it. But I, I'm really, as I said, I, with that Matic, I was really enjoying the, the playstyle of it. This is the same thing, only it has that punch it needed. Um, and it deals phenomenal damage. Yeah, it is really I can do. only imagine, as you get this increased on mark level, uh, I'm sure the you know, rate of power will pick up a little bit. And not to mention the damage will continue to increase. I can see this thing just being uh, beast. Yeah, it is. I like it. Uh, the reload speed's a bit, uh, bit slow um, compared to some of the other ones. Like, but that's you know that's not that's not a bad thing considering it's uh, the pack that it the punch that it packs there. You know, like if you take the M8 Avenger and you do comparatively that way. Uh, it's got a much faster reload speed, but it doesn't hit where they're dang. This thing hits a bit more like a bull, you know, where the they made Avenger hits more like an ant trying to crawl up your leg. They made Avenger just kind of tickles them. What you had to say, T? I said they made Avenger just kind of tickles them. I, I know. It's like taking a feather to him. 
not a bad weapon. It's great for beginners, but <clears throat> for any real solid competitive gameplay, it's not mm, meh. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, that was gorgeous. Okay, let's grab that. Head that way. I was down here because I was hoping it'd spawn down here. I could just grab it on the way out. But. That's all right. I'm gonna head my way over there. I'll go assist him. Oh no, never mind. It's not. See, this thing does pack a hell of a punch against the heavy enemies. Oh, you stupid. Food stagger. I didn't get a chance to use my uh, stimulant pack. Grab it and go, T. We'll cover you. I don't need cover. Doesn't matter. We're still going to cover you, ass. I don't want you covering nothing of mine. You like it, don't lie. Goddamn right I do. Alright, one time frame now. What's that? I got a girl coming over. Oh boy. I just got a lot more serious. Jeez. That woman kept sh sh changing her head around all over the place. Oh, hello. Got him. Whew. All these stimulant packs. I can't find out. There she is. And the accuracy on this thing is spot on. It is. It is nice. Pop around, drop that guy with a headshot, no big deal. Yeah, I just stole that kill. What of it? <laughs> just kidding. I did steal it, but... It's alright. They don't mind. I'll just save you a little bit. There. Oh, thanks. I was here, I was tapping F, looking like an idiot, just swinging away. <laughs> Stupid swarmers, I didn't know there were swarmers nearby. 
explains why I died so quickly. Uh, Brute coming in this way, T. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. You're going to get one shot. Uh, I don't. No, I was talking to the Krogan guy. I have a Brute down here I'm just tagging away at. Alright, boys. Two more waves. Two more waves and then you gotta go. <clears throat> yep. It's alright. Fair enough. Off of me, crack ass. I see that like a bitch. I was screwed like a bitch, pretty much. Fighting a ravager and then a stupid uh, hus came behind me and grabbed me mid uh, fighting the ravager, so it dragged me out of my cover and the ravager wrecked me while I was busy. Stomping him. So, it is what it is. It happens. Two of them, you're gonna have your hands full there. See? Oh, never mind. That person was not gonna deal with that. It's not on the list for today. How did that miss? T. Oh no, his internet kicked him. That's gonna tick him off. Right at the end of the match, too. Oh, that's gonna tick him off. His internet. He's got that net zero crap or whatever. It's not his choice, it's his uh, apartment's mandatory internet through them. Seriously. Alright, it's up to that one guy if he goes down.
go. Perfect timing. Alright guys, so that's the end of that match. Um, overall, the M99 Saber, it's a really good gun. Uh, very slow firing, but very powerful, hard hitting. Uh, which is extremely nice to see. As it here, I'll discuss it with you a little bit. <clears throat> so, overall, it's a really good weapon. I really enjoy it. Um, T seemed to really like it too. I imagine his uh, thoughts on it would have been... Would have been very high, I imagine. So, give me a second here. So, I'll message him real quick. I want to see what his thought on, was on it. Um, for the weight level it has, it does not pack enough of a punch to justify the slow fire rate and the extremely heavy weight, in my opinion. It does pack a strong punch. It is a fun weapon. Uh, but it, they, I really think that they should have went with either or on the slow fire rate or the really heavy weight limitations behind it. So overall, I'm going to have to give the weapon, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it does hit, hit really hard, especially if you're really accurate with it. I wasn't super great on that match, uh, which is fine. It was difficult too because we had enough of a competent team that you know pretty much anybody I was shooting at uh, was usually getting hit by someone else at the same time, but overall, seven out of ten is what I'm going to rate it. It's it's definitely a decent decent rifle, very good. So I really really enjoyed using it. I'm still kind of waiting on uh, T's response on that, but I imagine he's going to give it a seven or eight out of a ten as well. So uh, let's discuss a little bit more. Uh, definitely good for marksman type people. You know, definitely going to be uh, a weapon you're going to anticipate trying to pick enemies off from long range with. I would highly recommend bringing a secondary weapon, like a good sidearm, uh, something really lightweight sidearm or an SMG uh, for really close uh, combat. So I just got T's rating out of it. He gave it a 9 out of a 10. He really enjoyed it, which is really surprising to me because his particular playstyle is not reminiscent of having a an accurate heavy hitting weapon. He does like the heavy hitters a lot. Uh, he does like the N7 Crusader a lot because he likes the damage output. But for him to give a weapon 9 out of 10, it really is good in his books. Uh, so there you have it. I gave it a 7 out of 10. He got a nine, gave it a 9 out of 10. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, kind of sucks that he got, you know dropped out mid like <laughs> the final wave that really uh i know that really burns him but you know his his internet people he's he's about fed up with it so he'll get that squared away one one way or the other so well guys if you have a fantastic day and hopefully we'll see you next time let's hope you enjoy the label gamer show